I'm Kazuto Kaninashi. My family was so poor that I couldn't go to high school. Since my parents have a debt, I work at a convenience store to pay it back. Thanks for shopping with us. I'm buying them. Wow, are you gonna buy this much again? It's none of your business. I'm giving work to you, a lower class person. Stop complaining and do your work. Ah. She's Anna Takamiya. She's from a rich family and goes to a prestigious school in the neighborhood. We were schoolmates back in middle school. Everyone said she was attractive all the time. But she was so selfish that she caused us trouble, including me. I thought we'd never see each other again if we graduated from middle school. Why does she talk to me this often? Well, I can never understand what's going on in rich girls' heads. Hey, your hands aren't moving. Hurry up or I'll tell the owner to fire you. S sorry I can't lose my job. Well, if you get fired, you can work for me. As the one who helps me blow off some steam. <laughs> As a butler. Didn't you say I'd help you blow off some steam? Are you going to make me a sandbag or something? D don't worry about the details. If you beg me, I'll hire you right now. You'll get paid twice as much as your current salary. You can live at my mansion. I'll prepare the best work environment for you. Mm, no, I'm good. What? I gave you such a good proposal. How could you turn me down so fast? Even if it's the best environment to work, I don't want to be a sandbag. So I'll never become your butler. <laughs> huh? What? Why is she crying? Even though I gave you a chance, how dare you turn me down? I won't forgive you. Whatever it takes, I'll make you mine. Hello? You left what you bought. What? What's wrong with her? I was worried about her who suddenly ran away. But I couldn't go after her because there was a line at the register. Since that day, Takamiya-san stopped coming to the convenience store. I was fine with that because I wouldn't be bothered at work anymore, but since she hasn't shown up this long, I'm worried about her. She's not in trouble or something, is she? I'm home. Why is no one home? Huh? A note? Kazuto. I was told that I won the lottery, which I didn't buy, so I'm going on a trip. I'll leave it to you. Huh? No way you'd win the lottery you didn't buy. Don't tell me he bullshitted with me and just disappeared. He has a debt. Oh, landlord. May I help you? You know what you can help me with. You're gonna have to pay the rent today for sure. Ugh. Hmm. If you can't pay the rent, just move out. I'm selling this building anyway. What? I never thought I'd lose everything within a day. How did it turn out like this? Uh... Seems like you're in trouble. T takamiya san what are you doing here? It, it's not like I followed you. I was taking a walk by chance. A rich girl like you took a walk this late? Don't worry about the details. More importantly, you have neither your parents nor a home to go back to, right? I'm fine with hiring you. Are you talking about the butler thing? Yes. If you work for me, you can live at my mansion. You can have three meals per day and a private bedroom. It's not a bad deal. Wait. You call it a butler, but I'm not gonna be your sandbag. I mean, how did you know my parents disappeared? <laughs> it's because I drove them away. If you really want to know, I can tell you how, but I won't guarantee you'll be safe. What did you do to my parents? You don't have your parents anymore, so there's nothing to think about anymore. Just give up and become my butler. But, but I have a debt. I can't cause you trouble. It's not an issue either. Huh? Hello? Are you done with what I ask you for? Uh, who did you call? I've just repaid your debt. What? Now, you owe me a lot. Can you be defiant to me? If you say no, you'd better get ready. Oh my. Uh, okay, I'll work for you as your butler. Really? Then, it's been 
haven't decided. Call me Lady from now on, Kazuto. Uh, I understood. Lady. And so, I lost everything and became my former schoolmate's butler. She said I'd help her blow off some steam, but my responsibilities weren't different from housekeepers. Most of what I do is clean up the mansion and cook. She didn't do anything harsh to me that I couldn't think of when she told me about my job, but... Hey! What are you doing? You're my butler and got away from me! You can't do that! I've never heard of that! In the first place, I'm cleaning! If you get close to me, your clothes might get dirty. If they got dirty, I'll just change into other clothes. I'm the one who washes your clothes, you know? Anyway, no is a no! I can't blow off any steam that way. As a punishment, you'll be my chair today. What? Even after I started working for her as a butler, she kept acting selfishly. No matter how busy I am, she tells me to be her chair the moment I get away from her. Ugh, I can't feel my arms anymore. Shut up! And at night... Hmm, I feel uncomfortable. <sighs> Lady, what are you doing? You're being loud. I couldn't fall asleep. So, I just made you a body pillow, that's all. Letting me get some good sleep is one of your responsibilities as my butler. There isn't a responsibility like that! <sighs> you fell asleep already? She's always selfish. Why does she act affectionately at a time like this? She said I'd help her blow off some steam. But what she does to me isn't very harsh at all. What is she doing this for? Lady? Lady Anna? She won't wake up. It can't be helped. I'll make breakfast while waiting for her to wake up. It's gonna be okay if I come back before she wakes up. Don't leave me. Look, lady were you up? Darn it. She'll be mad at me if she finds out I was gonna get away from her. Don't leave me, Dad. Huh? I don't want to be alone again. I'll be good, so please. Look, lady uh, no, no, this is not what you... <laughs> Are you lonely because your father is away? N no, I don't feel lonely just because he's not around. You don't have to act like you're strong. I'm your butler. I'm here to help you blow off some steam. If you have some concerns, you can tell me about them. I won't laugh. You're right. You're my butler and helps me blow off some steam. Your job is help me blow off some steam, so... Listening to my concerns is one of your responsibilities. She said that first and started talking to me slowly. As you know, my father runs a big company. He's so busy all the time that he comes home once a month. My mother passed away because of a disease when I was in elementary school. I'm always alone in this spacious mansion. I hired a couple of janitors, but they never spoke as me. They said, I'm doing my job, so we shouldn't converse. So she was lonely until I came here. Was she selfish because she wanted me to pay attention to her? I got a letter from Dad yesterday, too. He's not coming back yet. So before I knew it, I made you my body pillow. Huh? Ah! I didn't say that! I didn't mean to say that out loud! You know, I know how you feel. My parents aren't good ones. They made a debt and I had to work to pay it back. However, they never said thank you to me. So... you were alone too. Yeah, so... When you're really lonely, you can think of me as your father. Of course, because I'm your butler who helps you blow off some steam. If you're lonely and in a bad mood, I'll be with you. Y yeah you're my butler. Then, from now on, stay beside me all the time. If you break the promise, I'll punish you. Don't worry, I'll be with you all the time. I also know how hard being alone is. That's why I can't leave her alone. From that day onward, 
She started relying on me as if I'm her father. We took a walk to the park, went shopping. I worked hard to make as many of her wishes come true as I could. Dodgeball? And using water balloons. A daughter and her father should play catch. A ball could hurt me, so I prepared water balloons. Uh, okay. All right, let's get started. Uh, okay. Since I promised I'd be her father, we started being together all the time. Takumiya-san started smiling more than she did when she was with me. She's not selfish anymore and acts affectionately toward me as if I'm really her father. However, there was one time when she was selfish. Ah! Uh, I'm all wet. Are you all right, lady? I'm fine. Luckily, I'm wearing a swimsuit. However, I don't like the way you refer to me. Huh? Call me Anna. You're my father. Politely speaking to me is odd too. Do we need to go that far? Yes! Just call me Anna! Okay... Hmm... Anna, are you okay? Yeah, thanks, Dad. Whoa, I also got wet. <laughs> we should go back to the mansion. We both got wet. Uh, then... There's something I want to do. Huh? We're gonna play horse? This is typical. Come on, move forward. Aren't we supposed to do this in the house? This is so embarrassing. Well, Anna is smiling, so I'm fine. Kazuto's back is big. He looks thin, but he's still a guy after all. It's like he's really my dad. Hey, Kazuto, just stay beside me forever. I'm not sure. You don't want to? It's not like I don't want to. Hiring a male butler would be a problem when you marry. Then, you should be the one to marry me. Huh? Did you say something? N nothing All right. You got wet, so take a bath first. I'll prepare dinner. W wait Um, why don't we take a bath together? What? Because I've never taken a bath with Dad before. I want to do it at least once. I mean, I want you to be my first. Wait, what are you talking about? We can't go that far. Uh, we can't. Oh, don't look at me like a lone rabbit. Oh, huh? Who are you? Dad, I thought you wouldn't come back for a while. D dad This man is her father! I was in town, so I thought I'd come by. You, we need to talk. Would you come to my room later? Y yes Damn it, damn it! He must be mad at me for that! So, Kazuto cool, right? Y yes I'm working for her as her butler because she asked me to. Okay. Should a butler take a bath with the one he works for? The relationship you two have is mind-blowing. As I thought, he's mad. I can explain about what you saw earlier. I wasn't going to take a bath with her. She asked me to, so I was just... So? You two aren't in a relationship? What the hell? He's in a worse mood than he was. What should I have said? What? Well, we never take a bath together. But I think we're close. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. Huh? Why is he crying? I can't even speak with her at all because I'm busy working. I come back home from work just a few times a year. So, I'm worried about how she's doing at school. I hear that she's never had any friends because she's always used strong words since she was little. So, he wasn't mad. He was just worried about her. So, I'm relieved that you two are getting along. I didn't even know how it'd turn out when she told me that you'd start working for her. I just wanted to speak with you one time, so I came back home from work. Ah. I'd like you to support her from now on too. I can't even see her often because of work. I can rely on no one else but you. So, he's been worried about her, just as Anna has been worried about him. However, if that's the case, I can't promise anything. Ugh. 
Why? Ina, were you listening to us? Why won't you support me? You didn't want to live with me? I'll fix my personality if you think I'm still selfish, so... Wait, that's not what I meant. I also want to be with you forever. But I can't fill the void in your heart. Huh? If you're lonely because your family isn't around, only your family can fix that. So I can't support you on my own. You should be at home too, mister. After all, I am a stranger. I can be her butler, but her father. So, if she means a lot to you, I'd like you to come home often. Ugh, I can't do that. I'm the president of my company. I need to leave the workers, or else I can't call myself president. But, I also want to prioritize my family over work sometimes. But if I take a day off, it'll cause a lot of people trouble. Would you understand? Ah, uh, he's right. He's the president of his own company. No way he can take a day off for his personal reason. I'm sorry, but I gotta go. I'm not gonna force you into it, but I'll leave her to you. Isn't there anything I can do here? I gotta figure out a way to let him stay beside Anna. Try and figure it out! Well then, I'm off. Inna, be good. Okay, take care. Wh wait Could you give me a bit more time? Like I told you, I can't. I have to go to work. No matter how you beg me, I can't. Then let me help you. What? Let me help you with your work. Then you'll have more time to spend with her. Hmm, you're right, but... Then, would you let me try? My job is a lot different from those ordinary part-time jobs. Not just the amount of responsibilities. Each simple task determines the company's future. It could ruin your life. Are you ready for that? I am. Innocent helped me. She gave a home to me, who lost everything. Now, it's my turn to help her. If you want me to support her, hire me! I'm a middle school graduate, but I'll do whatever I can! Please! Stamping isn't the only thing a company's president does at work. We're all so busy that we don't even have time to sleep. There's almost nothing that you can be in charge of. I knew it, but it didn't work. But... I was thinking of hiring another secretary. I would have selected someone out of the workers, but you can be the one if you're really serious. Y yes Thank you very much! I'm the one who should be thankful. Thank you, Kazuto-kun. Anna has a good friend. Yes! He's my best butler! We can leisurely speak someday soon. Yeah, sounds good. Her father went back to work after that. The day after that, her secretary came and took me to the company. I became Anna's butler and, after going through a lot of procedures, her father's official secretary. After that day, I've been working his secretary when Anna is at school. Now, Anna's father is able to come back home more often since he's gotten one more worker. <sighs> hey, I'm sorry for coming home late. Jeez, you should be. As a punishment, pat me on the head. I said I am. Good girl. Sorry for coming home late. Hey, Kazuto, marry me. What? How did you get there? Because working for dad means he'll take over his company someday, right? Then, technically, we're engaged already. What you said is mind-blowing. Wait, are you in love with me? You don't remember? You helped me before! Huh? One time, back in middle school, I took a detour because I really didn't want to go back home where I'd be alone. But then, some boys from another school surrounded me. Then, you protected me from them. I've been in love with you since then. But I didn't know how to talk to you. And 
I just graduated from middle school without telling you my feelings. I've always regretted not confessing my love to you. And one day, I saw you at the convenience store. Then you came to the store every day to see me? Of course. I bought a lot of stuff to increase your salary. You got a big pay raise thanks to me, right? Hmm. No matter how much you spend at the store, it won't increase my salary. I just had to work more. Oh my! Then I just caused you trouble! Well, kind of. Uh, I'm sorry for making you work hard. I didn't mean to. I just wanted to help you. No! You don't have to be sorry! I'm rather happy that you did that for me. You know, I think we have the same feelings for each other. You mean... I love you too, Anna. You're a bit clumsy, but I love that kind side of you. Y you don't have to point it out, but... I love you too. So, let's marry someday, okay? And so... We promised to marry in the future. Several years later, we actually married. It's a ways off until I take over her father's company.